everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily, if you are new, and I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a small DIY. I'm also gonna be decorating the living room for fall again. I'm switching up the colors and doing more traditional colors, which I'm really excited about because the weather has changed and it just feels right to do that. And I'm also gonna be organizing and rearranging and decorating the office, which you guys haven't seen yet. So I'm really excited to share that all with you. I do wanna say thank you to ShopTagger for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video. I've worked with them in the past, many of you guys have know, and I love their app because it's completely free to use and all it does is save you money and time and it's just really, really convenient. I will have a link to them in the description box below for you to download it today um, and use it. You can download it to your desktop or to your via mobile app and the way it works is anytime you're shopping on a site, you just click on that item, hit your shop tagger button and then it will tell you if you want to be notified anytime there's a price change, a 25% off or 50% off you pick what works for you and then it's saved right there and then you can also make different lists and categories that you want to save specific items to so I've already started saving some items for my bedroom because I'm going to be making that over and sharing that with you guys and I always want to find the best deal possible and Shop Tiger allows me to do that so when the item goes on sale they'll just notify me via email and let me know and then I can go and purchase that item and the other nice thing is too is that even if you're shopping on a site and say you don't have an item saved or anything it will all also apply different coupons that that site has offering for you and you'll get the best price possible without entering in any special codes. They do it all for you. So it's really nice. It's super convenient and I love using it. So make sure to download it. Like I said, it's completely free and it'll be linked in the description box for, for you as well. A couple items on my list went on sale and I was able to snatch them up thanks to ShopTagger. So I'm really excited about that. As you guys know, I love decorating and I like rearranging things and my decorating style is still evolving and this house is way different different than my last so I'm really like pulling pieces in and seeing how they work and it's just nice to be able to get them when they're on sale so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and obviously share this video with your friends if they need some inspiration and let's go ahead and get started So even though I think this is absolutely beautiful what I have here now, I definitely love to change out my decor and it's just something fun I do. I am a stay at home mom so when I stare at something too long I want I figure like oh let's change this out and change this out and I have lots of supplies so I just kind of try to work with what I have on around the house and that's something I definitely suggest you do like if you want to rearrange or change something look around your house and see what you can pick and pull from other areas. These I actually have in the entryway and I love the way they look so I ended up um, putting them in here as well. And I think they're really pretty but you're going to see, I'm just going to take you through the decorating process here because even though I wanted more oranges and stuff like that in here, you'll notice that I'm adding in more creams to the greenery and I end up going back to what I kind of originally had so I ended up changing it and you will see that in this video so just kind of see how it evolves into something else. <laughs>
So in the beginning I said I wanted more burnt oranges and I somehow ended up more neutral. I do like this, but then in my head I was thinking, what are you doing? Like you wanted more of the burnt oranges, regular traditional fall colors. So I took that all down and I got these jars out from my closet. These are from Target Dollar section and I put some Walmart florals in them that I had and then I ended up adding the wheat back in and stuff. I just wanted more some more browns, I guess you could say, in the room. Even though I think the previous look would have looked really good with what I ended up doing in the rest of the living room. I don't know, I just had in my head like, no, no, that's not what I was wanting to do. So I changed it up and added those back in. And then I added these um, um, sunflowers from Hobby Lobby. And then the candlesticks that you'll see here, the brown ones, are actually from Hobby Lobby on clearance. And they were like six bucks a piece. And then the copper ones are thrifted. And then I put the Target uh, pumpkin on top. And then I added the Target florals to the side of the sign that's from TJ Maxx. And then um, the pumpkins from Target. And I like the way this was looking. It just to me, it felt like it warmed up the space a little bit. And then I also changed out the other pillow for this one that I've had, which is from Home Goods. And now I'm going to change this up completely. I'm going to add some new pillows, which is part of our DIY, but the coffee table is changing. Um, a lot of you do not like this coffee table. I love it, but I found this one off of Amazon. It was a really good deal, so I thought, let me try it and see if I like the way it looks because it is two-tone. It's darker. I'm still not sure if I like the lighter wood on top. I know it matches my little end table over there between the chairs, but I almost feel like I should do the coffee table the same color as the mantle color, which is definitely richer and deeper of a brown and a little bit more on the blacker side. So I'm not sure, but so far it looks good for fall. So <laughs> I'm adding some stems that are from Hobby Lobby. They still have them. I think they're five bucks a piece when they're on sale. And then I'm just removing a couple um, book covers from some books. And I think books are so much fun to decorate with because they're easy and you usually have them on hand. And I like the brown that was kind of coming out. And then I'm using Walmart and um, some pumpkins from also from Fred Meyer. They were having a deal. And so I got them for like four bucks for a really good size. And I like fake ones because I can reuse them the next year. And I can just add them to my stash. And they're way more affordable, I feel like, than real ones. But I guess it depends on where you buy them. So I'm just adding a couple stems in here, adding a couple Target um, pumpkins in there, and just kind of styling that up. And I'm really liking the way this looks. It'll come together and I'll believe me, I'll show you how it all looks in the end. And now I'm gonna work on the DIY. We're gonna be making these pillows. And I originally found some off of Amazon, but they wouldn't get here in time. And I thought, well, I was at Walmart and Walmart had this basically faux leather material. It's not faux leather at all. I don't know what it is, but it was pliable enough. And so I thought, I'm just gonna make my own. I've made pillows before, they're super easy. So I just used the previous pillow um, cover as basically a template. And then I always suggest putting your pillow on top and flattening it to make sure that you have you know, have it the right size. And then you're just going to pin down and fold that in so that way your fabric doesn't unravel on you. And we're just gonna sew this together. I'm gonna show you two different ways you can make a pillow cover. This is the traditional way, at least that I grew up making with a zipper at the very bottom. And so I just tack that on and do it all at once. And then you just remove the pins as you go. And then I also sewed it onto the other side as well. And now I'm going to just sew the two sides. I'm not sewing the top of the pillow because the fabric, I liked the way if you were to karate chop your pillow, it the way it looked and indented. So I didn't want to seam on the top. I wanted just it to fold over. So that's all I did. I just folded the material over and left it like that and then just sewed the sides on. I wasn't sure how easy this fabric was going to be to work with, but it was thin enough to where it sewed just fine. I didn't have to adjust anything and it zipped up and I love the way it turned out. The next way you can sew if you don't have a zipper is to put your material um, basically inside out and then pin it together. You're going to make two pieces basically. You could make three um, if you want to seam at the top. I didn't want to seam on the top like I said for the previous one, so I made two cuts 
and you're going to overlap them about two to three inches. You could do more, but this material is stiffer than regular fabric, so I wanted to make sure I had a big enough opening to get my pillow into. So all I did was pin down the sides, and I'm going to go all the way around and sew it, except for the very top, just like the other one. And when you get down to the bottom um, edge, you're not going to just undo it. You can just turn your fabric and keep on going. So we're doing three sides of the four. The pillow fit really nicely inside. I did notice since I only did a two inch overlap that it kind of tended to be a little bit looser on the top. So if you want to be tighter, do maybe a three or four inch overlap. This pillow is from Walmart as well as this other one I'm going to show you, which I actually like better because it has that brown hoodoo it. And they didn't have another one in the store, so I'm going to have to order another one. But overall, I am really happy with how the living room came together. If you saw my fall home tour, you know I actually had cable knit pillows there. Um, they unraveled on me, so I was really disappointed. That's the only reason why I changed my pillows. And I actually like the way the brown looks here in the living room. And just that little pop of color. I know it's not everything I want, but um, you know it works for now. And I think the coffee table is probably my favorite area along with the couch. I love that sage green on the couch with the browns. I think it's so pretty. I definitely want to switch out I think that just regular white pillow but for now it'll stay there until I can get the other one but I'll probably add those to my room I like the way the house is coming along slowly but surely my style is evolving here now I'm moving on to the office I'm just vacuuming the floor really quick to make sure it's a clean surface I ended up getting an 8 cube organizer from Target thanks to Shop Tiger for notifying me that it was on sale. I had a 4 one and a 2 one, but it wasn't large enough and we actually used that for our other desk on the other side. But my mom brought this down with her for me for the school room and I love it. It's really cool. It's a chalkboard in the middle and then the sides are magnetic so I can put things on there for the kids and stuff and use it. Um, as a resource for our learning and everything and I like that um, and then the doors actually came off which I thought was really nice so if I don't want them up I don't have to have them but I think they're really cute and this office is turning out to be a little bit more on the farmhouse side which I love then from our previous office, I took this um, top pine board, I stained it in a walnut color, and I added that to the top. I should trim it off, but I don't mind it actually hanging off. It gives me a little bit extra work surface to add things to. Um, and now I'm just going to fill it up with the um, cube organizers I got from Target as well. I had a couple of them, and then I got some newer ones. So I've had this rug in the spare bedroom for a little bit in the closet and I was like I think it might look good in here with the carpet so I ended up adding it here. It's from Walmart. If they still have it I'll link it below. I think it comes in a couple different colors. Then I'm putting that table that I um, DIY'd and give it a makeover a couple months ago. Um, putting that in here was this our school slash craft table and then the chairs I got from Amazon as well and the school room is coming together like I said it's a school slash office room and the other side I won't show you yet because I'm not done with it so you're just seeing this side for now but I really like it it's a usable space I have all of our school supplies on the very top uh, row and then I have the kids play-doh games and then I have their wooden train track and the other one because I love to build it and put it all over the room and go down the hallway with it and everything but this container is from Walmart I picked it up a while ago so I'll see if they still have it I'll link it for you but it holds all of our pens but this is how the office slash school room has turned out but since it's fall I've been baking a lot and today I decided to make an apple crisp so good it's a cup of oats a cup of flour half a cup of butter and then some cinnamon and brown sugar and then I um, actually froze apples from last time we went apple picking 
and put some nutmeg and cinnamon and allspice on that and then covered it with the topping baked it at 350 for 45 minutes and it turned out so good i can't wait to do some more apple pickings so i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and don't forget to check out the description box below for all the items i shared as well as more videos for you to catch up on have a beautiful day i'll see you in the next one